Miss Stormy D coming up. Sunnydale moves in. Surreptitious. Surreptitious goes in. Miss Tokyo, the last one. Miss Tokyo coming up. They're all in. And away they go. Miss Stormy D broke well along the inside. Miss Tokyo on the far side is right there and Sunnydale between them. Those three line up on the lead. Then back to Surreptitious in the fourth spot. Too hot for Curl and his six off the leader. They run to the half mile pole and Sunnydale, a narrow leader. Miss Stormy D applies the pressure at the rail. Miss Tokyo's dropped a length back third. Then back to Surreptitious who now has five to make up. Four more to Too Hot for Curlin. Into the turn they go. Sunnydale on the outside and Miss Stormy D. They stride for stride. Now Miss Tokyo having to be sent along to keep up and then a gap of four lengths back to Surreptitious and Too Hot for Curlin last. They come into the top of the lane, Sunnydale on the outside and Miss Stormy D. These two in their own private little match race out here. They fall clear of Miss Tokyo in the third spot. At the top of the lane, Miss Stormy D's game battling right on at the rail. Sunnydale tries to match her stride for stride. Miss Stormy D the advantage and now starting to pull clear. And from here on in, it's just a matter of how far Miss Stormy D and Giovanni Franco winning it easy in the end. Miss Stormy D to Sunnydale. Miss Tokyo and surreptitious. The unofficial result, winner number two, Miss Stormy D. Second number four, Sunnydale. Third number six, Miss Tokyo. And fourth number five, Surreptitious. Result is official. In the third race today, there are no changes.
Now in the Cuppers Winner's Circle, number two, Miss Stormy D. She's a three-year-old bay filly by Tapazar out of Mystery Lentless. She's owned by Keith Brackpool. Winning trainer is Carla Gaines. And the winning jockey, Giovanni Franco. The winner was Benny Kentucky by Lantern Hill Farm, Phil Needham and Judy Needham.